Hi, this is Shubham from Moni Studio and today in this podcast we will discuss about best top 10 creative ways to finance a startup. If you want to read the full article then the link of the article is in the description. So let's discuss about what is this innovative ways. In terms of entrepreneurship and business in India, we have developed into one of the top emerging countries in the world. Hundreds of startups companies have been founded there in the last 10 years, many of which are enjoying incredible success. Funding of these startups is a very key area in scalability, but in initial phase it is an important to fund creative way for these startups let's discuss different strategies the first one is a personal financing you may not think this is a very creative but i am amazed at the number of new starters who haven't through about this saving any money before they start or wouldn't think of using their own saving to start a business no investor i know will put money into a deal if they see that you have no skin in the game so this is basically a personal personal financing is a way to use your own sources of funds available second creative way is a personal credit lines you qualify for a secured personal credit line based on your personal credit efforts credit cards can usually be acquired with even less history we all know startup that have been built on one or both of these principle of a personal financing and personal credit lines the advantage over here is that you retain total ownership and a control as long as you make a minimum payment so the personal credit line gives you an leverage for a short term financing to fulfill the business operation third innovative way is through a family and friends these are the people who should believe in you without waiting to see if your idea works or not or waiting until you have a real customer revenue or any hard asset this commitment should always be positioned in writing as a promissory note or so called bridge loan which convert into equity at a rate determined by a letter investor this also includes the some kind of a angel investor or wealthy people within our family or extension of a family the fourth important way is to peer to peer lending this is a process whereby a group of people come together to lend money to each other it's been around many years in example like small business group or ethnic group supporting similar effort in the startup context look for a successful entrepreneur we are willing to fund a similar new idea basically over here we are finding out our peer which are at more scalable value than us and easily available to lend a money for a new startup the fifth innovative way is a crowd funding here you use the power of internet to find a crowd of a like minded people with a small amounts each to back your effort this approach is now spreading beyond non profit pre sale and memento rewards to soon include availability to make small equity investment via crowdfunding crowdfunding is one of the key areas where you appeal and the your pitch should be very clean clear and easily approachable to the new audience The sixth innovative way is micro loans. These are many private companies and non-profit that offer a small loan up to around thirty-five thousand dollars to promote an entrepreneurship to individual who would not normally qualify for a bank financing. Example includes Patriot Express loans and small office home office loans. In India, we are developing a small platform in various startup forms where. you are easily available to get a micro loans and there are different different startups working in this space the seven innovative way is a vendor financing if you need a tangible products for inventory many manufacturer and distributor can be convinced to defer your payment until the goods are sold by you this is really means an extension of a normal 30 day payment in terms of a period of a month or longer depending on your credit worthiness of a and extra fees so here basically vendor financing allows to stress down your working cycle so that your the payment released for the creditors will be at extension period so that you can realize more cash this is basically utilized for the business who are in a cash generating business cycle but it won't last for the business where working cycle of a business is huge the eight innovative way is a purchase order financing the most common scaling problem faced by startups 
is the inability to accept a large new order since they don't have the cash to build and deliver the product. Purchase order financing companies will often advance the required fund directly to the supplier, allowing the transaction to complete and profit flow to the startup. Here the basic objective is to the operation of a business should not be blocked on merely basis of scalability of an order and through which the cash generating units are not stopped. It is very important for a business to keep their CGU cash generating unit in a top working condition at all point of time and this should not be in a main reason for the flow of business activities. Ninth innovative way is a factoring account receivable. This is a similar in a concept of a purchase order financing but it applies the advance to unpaid amount not yet due or collected from customer. In high volume startup starting to scale up this will provide a cash on your sales immediately rather than waiting for 30 to 60 days or longer for a payment. Over here the banks or any other institution which is capable of factoring your receivable will come into the force. Of course there will be a fee of 1 or 2 percent based on the contract with bank or any other institution but it is very important to develop a quick easy and most importantly not a doubtful recovery of our debts. The tenth and last innovative way to raise a finance is a leasing. Leasing is also a creative way of a financing startup. Business work in an ideal way which requires some capital investment in terms of a place, machine, equipment which can be taken under a leasing. Here leasing can reduce expenditure as well as give a tax benefit. If we are engaged in a startup which is a heavy on manufacturing activity where we need a huge amount of a machinery for a scalability or a production then leasing is the best way because it provides the easy access to machinery as well as provide a cost benefit when it comes to a tax deduction. So let's discuss what is a bottom line over here. Early stage startup is all about hustle and this hustle is done through a creative way to fund startup. Day by day it is becoming easy to fund startup. Truly we can say that startups are a future. Thank you for joining with us for this podcast. This is Shubham from Monist View. If you want to read the full article then the link of article is in a description. Thank you.